Hey guys, <clears throat> John. Uh, wow, it's only been three nights. This might be a record for me. <clears throat> and Blackjack says hello. Okay, uh, a while back ago, uh, in case you don't know, Yankee Candles years ago is who I started out with. And, of course, uh, <sighs> knock it off. I, uh, started out with, uh, like I said, Yankee Candles and, uh, Blackjack, give it a rest. Uh, and, uh, Simistic, uh, is what suckered me in, got me started. And, of course, over time, I started accusing Yankee of weakening their candles and started looking elsewhere. And, probably... A little over three years ago, I just took a break from the candles altogether. Uh, just came back in about the end of June. And, of course, when I came back, the very first one I came across of doing videos on YouTube was uh, Lauren from uh, For the Love Of and also <clears throat> known as on Instagram as Life With L. And she... Uh, I took notice this one day she posts one about this Yankee Candle, Bold Candle, Paint Sands. And at first I just rolled my eyes. I, I admit that. When, I remember when they first came out. You had your Pink Sands, you had your Golden Sands and Sun and Sand. Pink Sands to me, there was like nothing to it. Sun and Sand to me was like a disgusting suntan lotion. Golden Sands, I love the fragrance, but it's extremely light. I used to, gosh, I forget four or six melts at a time because I loved the scent so much and wanted to, you know, throw them good in my apartment. But it took so many tarts to get it going. So I listened to her about this Yankee Candle Bold Pink Sands. That how about what a great throw it is? And it's like, okay. Then. She, I remember her saying, wow, 20 bucks for this candle. Now, here it is. Now, I don't even know if we even have... Yeah, it's only a 10 ounce, or it's a 2 by 2 ounce little tumbler, basically, is all it is. Now, I just lit this up today, had it going for 4 hours. Uh, after about two hours, I still wasn't fully pulled out, so I actually just threw my jar shade on it. And that got that the fully pull out. Uh, I'll give you, uh, do something I normally don't do. I actually wrote, uh, chicken scratch the notes down here. We have a citrus, top note is a citrus melon berries. Uh, the mid note is, oh boy. I never seen this word before. I'm gonna take a shot at this and believe it's osmanthus. Now uh finished up with the the bottom of the base note, you're talking uh a spicy vanilla musk with a woods note aroma to it. And I was curious about osmanthus because I never seen this word before. Uh, it's a plant over in Eastern Asia, or primarily in Eastern Asia. Uh, it's a fruity aroma. Now, when everybody says they swear they smell like an apricot or a peach in pink sands, what you're, this, uh, osmanthus is actually what you're smelling. It does have an apricot to peach smell. And the main purpose of osmanthus which is the mid note of Pink Sands, is basically to take your fruits and your florals and blend them and tie them together. Uh, now, like I said, I, I burned it for four hours. Once I got the jar shade on that sucker, it pulled out beautifully, burned beautifully too. <laughs> Uh, and of course after a while, I 
I think within 40 minutes, I started getting a blast of the notes. I was definitely getting... The melon, to me, I couldn't quite put my finger on it, but I was thinking maybe like a honeydew. There, I Even for the bass, I, there was times I was definitely getting uh, what I felt was the spicy vanilla along with the wood. It was no problem. For the most part, it did great. I... It actually did throw. There was times I was smelling it from even 15 feet away. Can't complain. At all. Uh, here's the thing. <clears throat> These are normally retail for, I believe, $20. This would be... As far as like a frameless and a throw, I would put this about... I want to say this, a legit quality, quality being keyword, bath and body candle. Now, most bath and body candles, the reality is they're junk. Plain and simple, they are junk. But there are a handful out there that they do that is quality. So if you can, you know, now we're not, what, we're finding them what, on sale usually quite a bit. No, usually at least fourteen fifty. You can get a bath and body candle. Uh, so if you can find something in the bath and body line that would be the equivalent of a Pink Sands, a Macintosh, a Spice Pumpkin, a Lemon Lavender, a Lilac Blossom, and there's a few others out uh, uh, I think they have like a I think Midsummer's Night, Balsam Cedar, and maybe something else. Probably that stinking cotton. Uh, I think it's what's available in this bowl line. So if you can find anything like that in Bath and Body, you might as well just go ahead and buy the Bath and Body if you actually think it's quality. Which to me, I can probably count on, I bet I could name no more than 10 that I feel is legit quality though from Bath and Body. But, uh,. Uh, is it worth twenty dollars? That's the big mystery question to these. Uh, you know what? I really, really would have to be as much as I like it and as good as it's performing. I'm really going to have to want this bad to pay twenty bucks for it again. And that's the downside. I really don't think these bold candles, uh, as far as I know, don't usually go on sale very much. So. Uh, there's the plus side. It does legitimately throw good. But I still think it's overpriced. Especially for a 10 ounce candle. Uh, so. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. Take care of yourselves. I uh, hope this uh, answers your questions, Lauren. I did this one specifically for you. So I hope you have a good night.